Transport for London is one of the biggest transport systems in the world. Every day, more than 31 million separate journeys are made across the network of buses, railways, trams and the underground. This complete network is accessible by a ticketing system called the Oyster Card. In this video, we're not only going to crack the Oyster Card, but we will clone it to an RFID implant and try it out in one of London's busiest stations. The Oyster Card used today is a high-frequency Desfire EV1 card, which uses very strong cryptography and at this moment is secure and virtually impossible to clone. However, the Oyster Card system has been in service since June 2003. Back in 2003, the Desfire EV1 had not been made and the Oyster Card issued were instead MyFair Classic 1K cards. However, in 2008, Henrik Plotz, a German researcher, and Karsten Noll, a doctoral candidate in computer science at the University of Virginia, demonstrated a vulnerability in the Classic 1K card. This vulnerability made it possible to extract keys from the card, allowing easy read-write access, and in turn allowing these cards to be cloned. At this moment in time, the Oyster card system still supports these legacy cards, and luckily I had one laying around. Cracking the card was simple, using a Proxmark 3 and a few commands easily found on the web. One of my friends has a special RFID implant that allows the emulation of classic 1K cards, so it was possible to clone the Oyster to his hand, which meant he was able to scan his hand to open barriers and use the transport system. It's a matter of time before security comes and stop you. No, they're watching you already.